Hello, you all. This is 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. So I am back with another message. So I'm going to hop straight on into it, y'all. So, so the person here on your mind or your masculine um, could be watching you. They could be spying on you currently. Um, you all could have this person blocked. Um, you all could be currently like in separation, but this person is watching you. If you feel like <laughs> this person has been watching you, you've been thinking about them a whole lot. It's because they're thinking about you currently a whole lot here. This person could even be watching you from a friend's, uh, page. They could even made a fake page. Okay. <laughs> This person could literally have their friends watching your page for them if you have them blocked. Up. <laughs> so they can still see everything that you're posting. But this person is like all eyes on you. Like this person could um, have a whole lot of options. They could be a very, uh, a very attractive person. It's not hard for this person to you know, get anybody here. I feel like women flock to this person, but it's like, even though they're getting attention from other people, it's like, they're still not feeling, they're not getting that high because they don't have your energy. So it's like, they got these people, but they not you. Um, this person could be replaying you all's last conversation, whatever it is. I don't even think it was just you all's last conversation. I feel like this this person here strolls all the way back to you all's probably first few messages. And they'll go through it and reread everything. Like this person will reread text messages. They go through and look at pictures that you sent them. Uh, they go back and look at all of your videos. Like this person is like mesmerized. Like this person loves you. This person is in love with you, okay? This person definitely goes through and reread everything. Look constantly, constantly looking at your pictures and videos. This person could know how to cook really well, and they could possibly want to cook for you here. It's something that they want to do. I heard uh, breakfast in bed. Like this person could cook you, I don't know, some breakfast. This person could cook dinner or something and... <laughs> I seen that scene from Baby Boy with no clothes on. <laughs> Y'all, this person could be wanting to cook you something with no clothes on and bring it to you in bed or something. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this person could be thinking about catering to you. I feel like if this, if this person did not give you what it is that they should have in the beginning, I definitely feel like this person wants to come in and do what they didn't do in the beginning. Like this person want to show you another side of them here. I feel like this person had to let go of old ways, toxic ways here. Like this person was like a player. They couldn't give you um, a whole lot of attention or everything you needed because they were giving a little bit to everybody. They had a whole lot of options and people around and they couldn't focus just on you because they had all these different people to focus on. But this person definitely want to come in and give you what they didn't at first. They want to cater to you. Okay. This person um, is proud of you. I feel like you all have grown in major ways in just different areas of your life. And this person has seen you blossom into like this beautiful flower. Like this person has seen you grow a lot and they're very proud of you. Um, you all could have started off as friends. You all could have been really good friends and it turned into um, a relationship or for some, a situationship. <laughs> it's like a relationship that could have started, but it could have been something good, but it didn't quite get off the ground. So it could have been like a friends with benefit thing, okay? Um, but I feel like as time went by, this person fell in love with you. Like this person loves you. 
here. And I feel like now this person wants to be with you. They want something real with you in the beginning. Like I said, they was in this player energy. They still had exes lingering around. They was constantly meeting new people. So, you know, this player wasn't ready to settle down and be committed to anybody. You know, even if they did try to be committed, they was not faithful to anybody. But now this person wants to. But with you. This person cannot get over you. I feel like this person will never really truly be able to get over you. Like even if they were to date someone else, like you, they'll still sit there and think about you. I feel like to them, you're you're the most beautiful person ever that they that they ever met. Not just beautiful on the outside, but beautiful on the inside. Like I feel like you all are very genuine and loving and nurturing. Um, people and this person cannot stop thinking about you because the people that they're meeting is like it, they're not you they can't it's like you're like a, a drug they need you to get high and they're not getting that high from these other people <laughs> you they fix yeah this person i'm telling you this person here could be very attractive they could look very nice they could dress nice uh, this person could have a whole lot of money or something like that and they definitely got a whole lot of options but it's like all they really want is you you're the one that they want to settle down with and really be with because this person know that with you is authentic it's real it's genuine you don't want to use this person. You don't want to hurt this person. And it's like you give them the best love. And they can't get that with them options. And they're realizing now in the past they could have been undecided. Not knowing what they really wanted to do. If they really wanted to take a chance with you. If they wanted to go with somebody else. If they wanted to just be out here free. Being able to do what they want. They really didn't know. Dang. It's like they was tempted. Like I, I want to go towards this person. I slick want to be in love, but dang, I want to be free. I want to have my freedom. I want to talk to whoever I want to talk to, you know? So it was like they was undecided. Now I feel like now they're getting out of this undecided energy and now they're realizing that they want love. They don't want to be in this lustful energy here. This person loves the way that you love them. Like I said, you all could be very nurturing. You all could give the best love. Like you you all might have loved this person um, better than anybody they ever dated. And this person is holding on to you for dear life. Like this person don't want to lose you at all. I feel like this person is currently depressed. This person is sad. If you all have been feeling sad, it's definitely... Because your person is feeling sad. I feel like they hate that you all could be like in separation. Or um, you all could have walked away. Or this person could have walked away. Because they were scared of commitment. But whatever happened in your situation. Like this person is very sad. And like they want to come towards you. And heal um, this connection. And they and they want something serious with you. Some of, the, some of them even thinking about marriage with you all. Um, this person feel like it's it's y'all against the world. So you all could have had people that was jealous of y'all connection. You or this person could have had friends that was against it. Uh, family or whatever could have been against it. Could have been talking about it or whatever. But this person feel like they don't care now. It's like y'all against the world. Like this person could want to move with you. Want y'all to get somewhere to stay together and like move away and like have like a family and all of that like they are willing to cut off anybody that's going to get in the way of this beautiful union here this person feel like after meeting you they know what real unconditional love is i feel like they never felt this kind of love for some i feel like for a few now I feel like this person didn't even get this 
real unconditional love from their own parents and you came in and you gave them love and it's something that they never felt before and it almost felt unreal it almost felt like it was too good to be true and it scared them because it was something that they never felt before this person it was like it was almost like they thought you were playing a game with them like they thought you did your love was was like you you was trying to play them or something I don't know but this person couldn't believe that it was real. Now they're realizing that the love that you give is real. It's not a, it's not a joke. It's not you trying to play them or get over on them or whatever. Like, and they're seeing that now. And they want it. Like, they don't want um, this love to end okay they want to continue getting this love from you you know they could have ran from it they could have really been scared of it but now they're wanting it and um they definitely know what it's like to be loved unconditionally this person um sees you as very beautiful you all could be very beautiful i feel like this person um could love you more because you're beautiful on the inside and not just on the outside. Like I said, this person was a player. I'm pretty sure this person had plenty of beautiful girls after them, you know. But you had the beauty inside and out. And that's what uh, drew this person to you. Because you don't, sometimes when you meet people that's handsome, when you meet people that's beautiful... They attitudes suck. They be such a bad person. They be so uh, obnoxious and full of themselves and mean and all that kind of stuff. But you were different. Like you had both. And that's what this person love about you. Like you're beautiful inside and out. You all want to know if you give this person another chance, will they stand up for you? Will they protect you? Will they love you correctly? Or would you have to always question where you all stand? Will you always wonder if it's somebody else? Will you always wonder if you're enough because this person, you know, want to go towards these different options and all this? So you all want to know if you do, you know, give this person a chance, will they let you down again? Or will they come in and, and love you correctly? I feel like a lot of you all had more of an impact on this person than people that has been in their life for years. I told you that this person feel like you give the best love. You have unconditional love. And like I said, for, for a small few, I feel like you love them probably more than they got from their own family or parents. They might not even feel this genuine love from their from people that's in their family or or best friends or whatever. And I feel like you you definitely made this person want to change for the better. You made this person want to grow. You made this person look at life and certain things differently. This person feel like they 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 hate that they wasn't ready to love you properly. This person could have been fighting demons. Like I said, this person was a player. Like this person had tox toxic friends and family and all of that, that that wanted to keep this person in a very low vibration like this per this person friends and family probably rooted them on when it came to hurting women and playing women and having all these options this per i don't feel like this person had people to be around and be like when you gonna sit her down when you gonna do this or when you gonna have a family no this person i feel like had people that was around them like where the hoes at this is the kind of people this person had around them. Like, they didn't have anybody around them to show them what a real successful uh, marriage looked like or a real relationship that was full of love, real love, okay? This person had toxic people around them, okay? But this person wants love. But because they was around these low vibrational people, that's how they were. This person was definitely fighting some demons. They probably still, some of them probably still currently are, but some of them willing to do the work to come towards you. You all could, uh, could have shared things with each other. This person feels like you're their diary. You're their safe place. 
they feel like they can talk to you and they know that you're not going to tell anybody else or share with anyone else. This person could definitely be thinking about marriage with you, having a family with you. This person could be ready to uh, make you their wife. This person could be definitely uh, want to come in and propose to you. This person wants to know um, if it's okay to let your guard down. I feel like in the beginning, I feel like they always loved you. They always knew that you were a person that they could sit it down with. But like I said, they for one, they was a player. Two, I feel like this person has been let down and hurt before, and it caused them to be cold. It, ca it caused them to be in this player energy. I feel like this person did try to love before. But they got hurt. This person was hurt before. And this person want to know that if they let their guard down, will you promise not to hurt them like the people in their past? Because they, they want to be with you. They just don't want to feel that hurt and they don't want to get hurt anymore. So this person has definitely thought about being serious with you. It's just they don't want to feel that hurt that they felt before from someone in their past. But this person is definitely going to come in and I feel like express everything to you. If they did in the past, I feel like they're going to come in and express this to you and, and finally tell you how they truly feel. <clears throat> but that is all I have for you all right now. I hope that this gave you all some type of clarity and I hope that it resonates. Um, you all have a great day.